Miss Logan Arsenault out of California. <laughs> She's very versatile and she can do just about any song out there and any style out there from fast to slow, and she's proven it time and time again. Welcome, Logan. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's nice to be back talking to you. All right. So, uh, you know, for people that don't know who you are, which is highly unlikely because I'm sure, you know, half the world knows who you are right now. Um you know, uh, what, why don't you describe uh, yourself to everybody and uh, exactly what you do? Well, I make music I love. Um, I don't like to stick to a certain genre. I feel it limits you as an artist. So I just sing and make music that I feel that would, people can connect to and people can enjoy. And I been wanting to do this since I was able to talk <laughs> so it's just really cool that I'm now able to like actually do it and show people what I have to offer exactly and exactly and you have so much you know that that has been going on for people that don't know she's got a video out there called play me and she also uh just did a cover uh, not on drugs and if if I'm not mistaken that's going viral correct yeah, I actually, today I just found out that um, I won an Academy Award for Best Pop Cover for that song. Um, that was actually really surprising. I was so happy that I found out. I just found out this morning. So that was really exciting. That That's absolutely awesome. And, uh, you know, know what's amazing is the fact that you're, if I'm not mistaken, you're still, uh, you know, 17. And, uh, you know, you've accomplished so much in, you know, such a short period of time. Uh, you know, how, how does it, uh, how is it to stay focused and, you know, prepared and motivated, you know, being, uh, still being a teenager? Um, it is really hard. There's a lot of distractions, especially being a teenager. You always want to, like, hang out with your friends and stuff. But it's cool because um, me and my mom actually, like, sat down and we, like, created a schedule. So I know, like, what I'm doing during the week and I know when I have time to hang out with my friends so I can, like, just plan around it. So the best thing is just, like, to be organized, you know, because, um, yeah, I'm busy, but I still have to, like, make time for myself, too, because then it would get, like, crazy or <laughs> So, yeah, but I mean, it's it's not that hard. It's really, I wouldn't say that I have to much stay focused because I'm doing what I love anyways. So it's not like a hassle. Exactly, exactly. And what would you say out of all the songs that you've covered or that you've done is your favorite song that so far and why? Um. Well, it would either be... Not on drugs for my cover or I'm yours for the cover. Those are like my two favorite ones that I think I've done so far. I think it um, shows how my voice has matured. And so I just, I like those the most right now. And then my own song, I would still go with Play Me. I mean, it's really catchy. Sometimes I'll get it stuck in my head. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll have rehearsals um, with my dancers because we're about to do performances soon. So we're getting a big performance ready for everyone and we'll just be rehearsing and I'll walk out and it'll be in my head. And I'm just like, I'm singing my own song. Like it's really weird. <laughs> and what I love about that song, that is like the, you know, the female, like a new anthem, you, you know, nowadays as far as, <laughs> you, 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 um, you know, relationships are even, you, you know, are even in the video game world because, uh, you know, video games alone have been known to break up relationships, tons and point, you know, tons of relationships. Yeah, that's definitely true. So, uh, you know, I do see, you know, that you have a bunch of, you know, people, you know, supporting you and whatnot. Does anybody, uh, before I continue, does anyone, you know, want to ask Logan a question? I guess not. Everybody wants to listen. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all, all right. Um, so, uh, you know, just a little background. So, so at what age did you begin, you know, singing and when did you find out you wanted to do this professional? Um, I began singing 
more like getting into it when I was like 12. Um, I went to like school for, it was kind of like school for acting, singing, modeling, and I took classes every weekend. Um, that's when I really started getting involved. Um, and then from then on, I realized that I can take more advantage of what I'm starting to do. So then we moved to California <laughs> and I started singing out here. I met, um, my producer Haskell Jackson from Genesol Productions, and I've been working with him for a little over two years now. So it's been really great. We've accomplished a lot so far. I've made, um, I think, eight or nine covers now, and we have four singles out. I'm about to drop another one soon. So it's just really exciting to see how everything's coming together. Um, I've come a long way, and it's I'm going to go longer way (laughs) it's a long journey to get there but it's definitely worth it um i'm enjoying it and definitely along for the ride so 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 does it make you feel better now that you've got a team to work with rather than you you know um you know on your own you got your dancers and everything to help support you oh most definitely um it's really comforting to have a team behind you because it's just people that believe in you and it's a constant reminder that they believe in you and they support you and that they want to become something with you because like the point of having a team is to grow together I don't want to just like have replaced people like I want to grow as a family and travel together and just like create the whole picture that we want in the future exactly that that's what it's about you know it's about having a team it's about you know believing in each other and you know building together because i mean it's easy to replace people but just because you replace people doesn't mean you're gonna have the same chemistry and chemistry is hard to build exactly exactly and i have a great team honestly my dancers we all get along really well and it's fun because like we make it business but we'll still cut up and have fun and so it's nice to have, like, that ability so it's not only, like, strictly business and you don't have that friendship relationship because then you don't feel, like, comfortable with them and you can't, like, hang out with them, too. And that's the point in creating a team is to, like, get close and grow together. Hey, Logan, this is Chrissy D. Uh, it, when you have your time off from uh, not having to work or do anything, what do you like to do for fun, just for a normal average day? Um, when I'm not busy, I usually just like to watch Netflix and like snack out or I'll go to my friend's house and we'll just like chill, maybe go walk around somewhere. Um, mostly just like downtime. Um, I just like chilling with my friends and not really doing much because during the week I'm just go, go, go. So it's nice to just relax. Sweet. All right, so, uh, you know, uh, I, I just noticed somebody new popped on the line. Would you like to ask uh, Logan a question? Hi, this is Logan Dancer, and I just wanted to say hello, Aima. Hi, Aima. <laughs> Hi, Logan. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Getting yourself. I just wanted to know, what, what inspired you to start to be? Um, I've, it's just always been a dream of mine, and I just feel like I've been through a lot in my life, and I know a lot of other people have too, and I just wanted to create music that inspires them, or maybe they can relate to, just kick back and enjoy, like, just make other people happy with what I have to offer them in the music world. Okay, well, you're awesome, love you. Love you, (laughs) too. Well, well, that was a Kodak moment. <laughs> All right, and, and we have uh, we have somebody you know listening, or you know may want to ask you a question uh, from Los Angeles, California. Do you care to ask Logan a question or or anything? Yeah, um, Logan, what? Who do you going through your journey right now? Where do you, where do you see yourself in like I don't know 
five years, and once you hit that mark or whatever mark that you're trying to hit, what artist do you want to be? What artist would you like to feature, and what artist would you like to work with? That's a great question, and honestly, I don't know where I will be in five years. Um, I hope to be traveling the world and having, like, my own tour going on, being able to see all my fans in different places. Um, I just want to have that traveling moment because that's when you know that you're actually doing things that feels it would feel like awesome to just travel and see like all these different people and be able to sing to them like that's what I really look forward to and for singing with people in the future I mean Beyonce I think that would be awesome to just like be able to meet her and to be able to perform with her like that would be like crazy for me (laughs) All right, all right. All right, is is there anybody else that would like, uh, you know, to give some feedback, uh, you know, uh, give some praise to Logan, or just want to ask a question before I continue? All right, this is... <laughs> Oh, oh, all right, all right. Um, just to let, uh, you know, everybody know, there's like eight, eight people up here, so... <laughs> Um, but everybody, uh, you know, wants to give Logan her time and that's awesome. All right. Uh, so, oh, I here, here we go. We got a, we, we got a new caller, uh, you know, from Chi town, Illinois. Do you want to, you know, give some feedback to Logan or you want to ask her a question? All right, uh, the caller from Chi Town. Are you just calling to listen, or you you want to ask uh, Logan a question? All right, all right, okay. <laughs> uh, all, all right. So, uh, what uh, what what do you feel uh, you need to accomplish this year to uh, you know be to the next level, Logan? I think performing more um, is what I. I'm looking forward to. Um, I have a performance in March coming up at California State University in Domingo, Dominguez Hills um, on March 25th. So you guys should come and watch 11:30 to 1:30. <laughs> um, it's the first time that I'm going to be performing with my um, dancers, so I'm actually excited about that because we've been rehearsing for months now, and it'll be really cool to just get that opportunity. That, that's fine. Yeah, so I just think that performing more is what I'm really looking forward to, and I think that's just going to make me a better performer. So I'm excited for that. Awesome, awesome. And, uh, you know, uh, did you ever think you're uh, not on drugs, whatever, and, you know, go viral and, you know, get that many hits and and everything? What is it about that song that, you you know, is different than any other one that you've done? Honestly, I don't know. I I was actually surprised. I didn't think that it was going to go as viral as it did. It hit over 200, I mean, not 200, 2.2 million people. And that surprised me. Like, even when I found that out, (laughs) I was flabbergasted and I was really surprised. I didn't, I know the song would do well because it's current. It's what people are listening to right now. But I didn't think it'd do as well as it did. And I'm, I'm really happy with how it went. Oh, all right. And uh, d- does your manager, uh, you know, want to ask a question or want to, uh, you know, tune in real quick? Hey. Yeah, you. So, <laughs> so I, I just want to say that we're we're really proud of the team. Um, Logan's a little humble, but um, she actually has a, amazing stats on uh, Reverb Nation, and and we're really excited about it. All right, that, that that's absolutely uh, fabulous. All right, uh, so 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 Logan, what uh, what style of music do you enjoy playing the most? Honestly, I couldn't answer that. I just. I love making different types of music. Like it's it's what I it's what I promote for myself 
because I honestly love it. Like being having the choice to switch to what I feel I want to write about that month or week or whatever. Like it's just cool to have that opportunity to switch and not being able like someone's like looking down on it like you sing pop you can't cover or sing a rap song like that's weird like I have that I feel like that's like um an up for me like it's a something that I have over other artists because I'm not just I can't just do one genre like I can do more it's really cool that I have that for myself Logan do you think that um for each genre that you sing do you think it depends on your mood or your thoughts for that particular time when you're doing that particular song as to what kind of genre the music comes out to be, mm-hmm. whether it be rock, rap, or country, or whatever? Yes, honestly, it does. It has a big um, play into what I sing. Like, if I'm just in more of a sad mood, maybe I'll cover a Coldplay song or something. <laughs> but, like, it really does depend because um, that's what music's about, expressing how you feel what you're going through so I definitely do that through my covers as well um I mean I love all different types of music so it's cool that I can they they express so many different emotions like like rap sometimes it's angry or it can be like relatable and then pops like more upbeat like it's just it always expresses emotions and it's yeah I just love that awesome awesome and uh, let's let's go back to the you know video on uh, you know play me. How, how long how long did that exactly take to make? And uh, you know who who's your fantastic you know video person? Um, the director that shot the uh, music video is Jose Roque with Rockefeller Productions. And um, play me, it was uh, it was a multiple day shoot. It took about maybe a week to shoot I would say and then of course editing and all that but yeah about a week maybe five to seven days but it was really fun um it was fun working with him he's a great director um and we're close friends with him too so it was just nice to have to be able to work with him and who would you say really you know is your supporting cast or you know really you, you know, uh, doesn't get a lot of credit, but behind the scenes really is your rock. My mom. <laughs> she um, is always there to support me, and she will always be there to support me. I mean, we bump heads a lot. Uh, <laughs> we're both very opinionated and stubborn, but it's it's good to have someone there for me that will support me through everything, um, and she's been doing that since I told her that I wanted to start this. I actually started um, through modeling. I thought that I wanted to be a model like my mom because <laughs> she was a model when she was younger. So I thought that I would try it. And actually that made me realize how much more I wanted to do singing and the fact that she let me like switch over and she still supported me. Like it was really cool. Um, and I was excited that she was, it, like, because most parents, they, they say, oh, get a real job or, like, you need to go to college first. Like, my mom just like, as long as you're happy and you do school and stuff, then I'll support you. So it's really awesome to have that. So, so with that being said, how hard is it to balance school from, uh, you know, your career? It is so hard. I'm going to be honest. It really is as a teenager because – like trying to manage going to a normal high school and doing everything that I'm doing, it's really hard to balance it. Um, I'm going to tell you the truth. I've gone to public school um, and then I just left (laughs) back to online school. And then I realized that I wanted to see my friends more. So I tried it again and it just doesn't work. So online school is the best thing. And I mean, it's easier to do online school because you can do it on your own time. You can move at your own pace. But it's nice to be able to, like, see your friends every day. So, yeah, it is a con on that. But it's definitely worth it overall. And I don't I don't blame you. Um, you know, for some people, you know, uh, public, you know, school systems work. For others, uh, they, they just don't. Um, in my case, 
I actually graduated from a correspondence school because I kept on getting kicked out for fighting. So, <laughs> but that was years ago. Oh, dang. <laughs> Uh, all right, but it, it sounds like uh, you have somebody, you know, new that uh, joined us. Would you like to ask uh, Logan a question? Oh, I'm one of Logan's favorite fans. <laughs> Hi, honey. Hi, sweetie. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. It's I'm enjoying listening to your song. I just heard you sing, um, I think it was a Dead Mouse song, the Raise Your Weapon Oh, yeah. I was just listening to that one on the radio, on the speaker. Cool. So, anyway, um, I just called in just to say hi and to tell you how proud we are of you, especially with everything that's happened today. And Thank you. And to tell you hi. I love you. I love you, too, sweetie. I won't hog your time. <laughs> I was actually enjoying hearing what everybody else had to say. Uh, uh, that, that, that's fine. That, that's totally fine. You, you know, at, at the end of the day, it's about, you know, people caring and about, you know, people, you know, supporting, you, you know. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I heard a little of a razor weapon in the background. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that you did. That is personally my favorite song that she has done. Uh, I, oh, thank you. I, I actually, when I heard it at first, I didn't even know it was a cover. I originally, when, when you could yeah, do, yeah, I remember you telling me that. When, when you could do a, you know, a cover song that well, where people don't realize, you know, it was originally done by somebody else. That's that, that's actually one of my favorite songs that she sings too. But I'm crazy about the new song. I love the new cover. Um, I uh, played it for my entire eye doctor's office the other day. My husband had to drag me out of the office. He thought it was so funny. He couldn't believe I did that. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mardi Gras here. They just thought I was Mardi Grawing. So <laughs> now all, they were figuring all the nuts come out, even the older ones. So... Yeah. All all righty then. All righty. All right. So uh Logan, what uh you, you know in in the future is there a song that uh you know that you've always wanted to sing that you may you know uh like to cover? Um, there's a lot of songs that I would like to cover, um, cause I just love covering songs that I listen to. Like, they'll just be a song where I really like the song and I just want to cover it. It doesn't matter if it's a girl or a guy singing, like, I just want to cover it. <laughs> there's like, it feels good because like, I'll get a song stuck in my head and then I'll cover it and I'll feel better. Like, I feel like that's what I needed to do. <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've spoken to you, uh, you, your manager before, and I said, well, I don't, I don't know if she likes uh, White Lion, but when the children cry, her voice would so, you know, w would be so perfect for that song, the cover. But but what do I know? I I, I just, uh, you know, work on the radio and do uh, interviews. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you know, so so how fabulous is it, you know, to be – you, you know, uh, nominated for that award going, you know, going back to what you were saying before, because you sound very excited about it. Honestly, it, it's really awesome. Like, I didn't even think that I would win an award. And when I found out that I was nominated, I was happy to even be nominated. And um, then I found out today that I got it. And I was just really like, I was so surprised, honestly. My mom called me, and she just told me, and I was like, what? I was like, are you serious? And she was like, yeah, I'm serious. Go look. And then she sent me the link, and I was looking at it. And I was, I was really – it was a good moment. I was proud of myself. It was it was nice to, like, take a step back and just appreciate that um, I've been working hard and um, that it won an award. It was just, like – it was really awesome. I, you know, I, I, I agree. I agree because I mean, you, you've done so much. 
I mean, for people that don't know, I mean, you had a, you know, a guy come from Australia to interview you. That that's not, you know, that's not every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that was that was really cool too. Um, he said that he was willing to come to LA and interview me from Australia, and I was I was actually surprised for that too. I was like, you're gonna fly to from Australia to interview me, like. Like I was, it was really cool though, cause he had an Australian accent, <laughs> and I love like really cool accents. So I was just like, really like focused on his accent. <laughs> and then he had wonderful questions to ask, and he aired it on his radio station back there. And it was just, it was really cool. It was cool how it was, um, being like my interview was being played in a different country. So that was really awesome. That is really awesome. I mean. I know your family must be really proud of you because I know I'm sure all your fans are. That is fantastic. And, uh, you know, I think that's the good thing that he had a little Australian accent because it kind of kept you from getting a little bit nervous, you know, I'm sure. Did it help you get not get yeah. nervous? <laughs> Definitely. It, it kind of broke the ice, um, I think, for me. I think he might have been a little nervous maybe. But, I mean, it was cool because, like, I've never really met someone with an Australian accent and if I had, it was like for a split second. And I just love accents. I think it's so awesome. And he was just asking me all these questions. And some of the questions, it was kind of hard to understand him because his accent's so thick. Like, he lived there his whole life. So, But it was definitely cool because I got to learn about him as he's learning about me. Well, that's so it was just cool. an awesome experience. That, that really sounds like an awesome experience. I mean, he, he was probably nervous because he's like, I've never, he's probably thinking to himself, I've never interviewed a big star because basically you are a big star. At your young age, you are a big star, and that's fantastic. Oh, wow. Thank you so You're much. You're very that's welcome, really awesome. and we are thank definitely you. one of your biggest fans, too. Oh, thank you. That's really awesome. I appreciate that. All right. Um, You, you know, I, I have to ask this. I, I mean, how, how much has your music, you know, grown, or how, how you, you know, how, how do you feel that you've grown since when you first started? Oh, I've definitely matured. I would definitely say that I've grown so much as a person, as a singer. Um, definitely being able to sing, it helps you grow, like, overall, like, with everything. It's not just in your career. Like, it just matures you as a person. And having that, like, outlet to express myself, it definitely helps. Um, my voice has also matured as well. Um, I can hit notes that I wasn't able to when I first started. So that's really cool to see that. It's like a way to see how I've come up so far, you know? Exactly. Exactly. And you know what What I love, to, love about this is everybody can hear you crisp and clear. There's no, there's no echo this time. And everybody, you know, gets, uh, you know, to hear Logan. Because last time we had a bit of uh, technical issues, and this time I don't believe we yeah, have we did. them. So. I don't know what happened last time, but at least it's good this time. Yeah, you know, uh, sometimes the second chance works, you know? <laughs> yep, it's the second time. That has to be it. <laughs> yeah, and I can give you another example of how Logan's grown in, um, in Australia for um, the teen artist. They, um, at first, um, she started at number four. And then she moved to um, number two with her next release. And then finally she hit number one. So um, I think, you know, it just is getting more exciting. And she's, you know, we were very proud of her. As, as you should be, because she's just a fantastic musician. She's, a, you know, a brilliant young lady. And, uh, you know, uh, she evidently got a great head on her shoulders and, you know, uh, highly intelligent, and she probably learned a lot of that from her mother. So oh, most definitely, my mom has taught me a lot of things, and I'm very appreciative that she's so smart. And <laughs> she's like a marketing guru. Like I don't know how she does it, honestly. Like she'll say that she has like a set budget for marketing for the week, and then she'll like have these amazing numbers on the weekends. And I'm just like, uh, okay, you're like God. <laughs> Because the numbers, they'll go to, like, sometimes millions. And I'm just, like, sitting at her, like, seriously, like, thinking, like, oh, my God, like, two million people just saw my song right now. Like, it's, it's honestly, I don't even, it doesn't feel real yet. 
it really doesn't because yeah i have songs on itunes but when i like say that to people it's a bigger deal to them than it is to me like i'm just like oh yeah i make music and they're like you make music that's so cool can i hear it i'm like yeah it's on itunes you're like oh my god it's on itunes i'm like yeah like of course it's just that it's different i'm not used to it yet uh, well all. well what i think it is is you know, when you do the same thing over and over again, I mean, even if you do, uh, you know, uh, different forms of it and whatnot, uh, you know, as time goes on, you really you really don't see the significance in it like somebody else would because it, it's just a normal thing for you. And because it's exactly. a, because it's a normal thing, you, you really can't appreciate it as much. But the fans all over, they sure do. They remind you. They remind you. Um, it's really cool because I'll get messages from fans and they'll just be like, oh, I love this song or thank you for putting your music on this site and making it available for me to listen for free. I'm going to go download all your songs on iTunes now. And that's real support. And that's awesome that people would actually take their time and do that for me. Because, I mean, it honestly, it just helps the whole like it makes everything worth it like it's really hard and it's tiring but i mean it's so worth it especially getting the feedback that i am now like it just makes me want to keep going harder and harder so i can finally like get to the point where i'm like a household name like that's my goal is to just get to a household name and be able to express myself with everyone well well, well you're definitely on your way you are there's no doubt about it uh, you know, uh, I know right now you're not, you know, um, doing any major tours or anything, but but if you had your choice and you had an opportunity, if you could play anywhere in the world, where would you like to play and why? Um, I would say France because I'm French and I've never been to France. So I've always wanted to go. I think that would be absolutely incredible to see where, like, my relatives like, were from. And I know it's absolutely beautiful. And I think it would be amazing to just be able to perform there. Like, I've never been, and I've always wanted to go. So it's, like, the perfect place to go. Awesome. And what would you say is the best feedback that you've received from your fans? Because you did say you've received tons of messages and everything. Was there one that really just made you, like, uh, you know, break down and cry? Um, I wouldn't say break down and cry, but there has definitely been a lot of meaningful messages. Um, there's been some messages from fans telling them that I've helped them through our time or they're able to just relate to my music, that they're going through some stuff or that they, they're looking forward to being able to meet me one day and that... I'm an inspiration to them. They look up to me. Like just hearing that, it means that I'm doing something right. If I'm able to have people that want to look up to me and want to achieve things that I'm achieving, like that's really cool. And I feel better, like I'm doing the right thing. And it's really awesome to just have that motivation as well. Awesome, awesome. All right, uh, you know, we we know that you're a busy person and everything, and, you know, it is, uh, you know, the weekend, and you're trying to enjoy it. So, uh, you, you know, for people that don't know, uh, where can they find your music, download it, buy it? Uh, how, how, do, how do they reach uh, your music and know more about you? Um, well, you can find me on Reverb Nation. Um I have a lot of music on there, my covers and my originals. And, of course, my originals are on iTunes and Amazon and YouTube and Spotify. Um, Just type in my name and you'll find me. You can also just type in my name on Google and it will pull up, like, links to all my stuff and social media. And N1M Music Charts, I have music on there, too. So it's just, like, everywhere, just type in my name and I'm sure you'll find something so yeah it's just really fun like I'm so excited thank you for giving me this interview like it's awesome to talk to you again uh, n- not a problem and periodically w- we definitely will you know have it have you back I mean there's so much that you know you do for your fans and there's so much you know that they're 
you, you know, uh, the hints that I've, you know, uh, from talking with your manager and everything. And, you know, y'all are just a real blessing. And you're really a role model, you know, to the all the teens out there and, and everything. And what I love is you focus on quality rather than quantity. And there's some people out there that have a million songs, but half of them are garbage. If you listen to any of your songs, I have not heard one song yet, and I don't think I ever will, that is garbage. Wow, thank you. That honestly means a lot. Um, that's also one of my other things that I go by. Like, I don't want to make just a lot of songs that I maybe like. Like, I want to make a song rather that I love and put more effort and time into it than just making, like, three songs that are like, oh, it's okay. Like, I like it. It's all right. You know, because I don't want to have like all right music. Like, I don't want to listen to a song and be like, yeah, I wrote that, but it's okay. Like, I want to love all the music I make and I want everyone else to love the music I make as well. Well, I, I do know on uh, several occasions, um, go, but go ahead before I get to where, what I was going to say. Go ahead. Oh, I was just wondering if um, the producer or the choreographer was on the line in case they wanted to talk. Okay, they must have disconnected. Well, I, you know, I, I asked before if, you know, anybody wanted to ask a question or give feedback and, you know, uh, I, I, I didn't get replies, so I do apologize. Yeah, no, that's fine. <clears throat> all right um you know like i said you know you're really a godsend for people and you really bring the new generation and show people that you know quality does matter and, and that's the big thing logan you, you know anybody Thank can you. that honestly means a lot Yeah, anybody could, you know, make a zillion songs, but, you know, it's it, it based on, you know, like like you've proven time and time again, it's based on quality and it's based on, you, you know, emotion. And, and you really can feel the emotion, you know, in all your songs. Like like Raise Your Weapon, just just phenomenal. And I know you did that, you know, a time, time ago. You, you know, Marvin's Room, another one. You know, stronger. Uh, you know, play me. Of course, not on drugs, and I can go on and on, but uh, you know, just great tunes over and over again. Even mad. Thank you. Honestly, that means so much. I'm glad that you enjoy my music. I mean, that's what I've been going for, and to just hear that from everyone lately, it's just, it's really awesome, and I'm just so thankful. It, it, it... Um. Go ahead. And I also have something coming up. Um, we just finished um, recording for the Stronger music video. So that will be an edit soon, and it's going to be coming out soon. So be looking forward to that. I'm so excited to see how everything's coming together. Um, we worked with Patrice Wilson for the video, and it's just been a great experience. And now it's finally recorded and i'm so excited to see how it comes out and i really want everyone to see it too fantastic we we personally cannot wait uh you know every video that you've done has been amazing and i just don't give compliments just to give compliments <laughs> thank you yeah you know i i've always said i don't give brownie points i don't know how to cook so <laughs> that won't work so <laughs> Um, but, uh, you know, is there anything, uh, you know, uh, left that you, you'd like to talk about, or is there anybody else that would like to, you know, ask you a question or give any feedback about anything? Um, there is something else, um, coming up to another video. It's a press performance video. Um, and it's basically a performance video with my dancers performing play me. Um, it's, you kind of just get to see how the dance comes along and everything and how it would look if we were actually performing to you. So that's really cool. Um, that was also shot by Jose Roque. Um, so it was, it's just fun. I mean, I've been doing a lot and everything's starting to come together, more shows. I'm going to be doing another show in April and it's for anti-bullying to bring awareness to that. Sweet, so. sweet. 
Go ahead. So I'm sorry. It's just exciting. Yeah. In April um, in L.A., I'm going to be doing an anti-bullying show. So that's really cool. I'm excited for everything that's coming along. All right. Um, you, you know, but it, it's been a fantastic time, Logan. And thank you again for coming on, uh, you know, to local radio. And I, I've just loved your progression. I, I, I've loved how in the short time that I've known you, you've matured so much. Thank you. Honestly. Yeah, it's it's great talking to you and being able to have the outlet to be able to connect with more fans and have them to be able to hear me. So. But thank you so much. And I think she has one more thing to mention, Ray Ray, um, about a, a book that she's going to be featured in. Yes, I actually had a wonderful opportunity by Mr. and Mrs. Vincent James. They um, contacted me and they asked if I would like to be featured in a book. And the book is 88 Plus Ways Music Can Change Your Life. And it's Amazing. for an organization to for like to raise awareness for music education and um it's just really cool because um 50 percent of the proceeds are going to go to music education for kids and instruments provide for them so that's awesome because i know that a lot of music programs are being shut down um because of budget cuts and it's really sad because i know that a lot of kids might not have the opportunity to like have and go out and meet producers and stuff and they can just go and be able to connect on their own level at school with their teachers like it's definitely um a big opportunity and now that it's getting shut down it's really devastating to some kids i know so it's awesome to have that opportunity to help that that is amazing that is amazing the thing about this is i knew about all this but i i wanted to see uh you know where where you were at and uh what you uh you know what you uh you know had going on and i think it's amazing that you're you know uh participating in an anti-bullying thing because that is huge nowadays especially with cyberbullying and yeah, everything definitely and also the fact that you're helping with music education you know in a book that's that's absolutely phenomenal as well because i know when you know when i went back when i was in school and everything, and I can even think, you know, my son being in school and everything, uh, you know, without music, I mean, where would people be, you know, without... Exactly my point. Even if you aren't a performer and writing your own music and expressing, everybody listens to music. Everybody connects with people through music, and everybody uses it as an outlet to either help them when they're sad or help them when they're mad or just when they're in a good mood it's nice to just listen to a good song like everybody loves music and it's just if we didn't have that then we we would be a mess and so it's just cool to support that i agree i totally agree all right uh you know thank you for your time logan unless somebody else wants to uh you know chime in it's been a pleasure you have yourself a wonderful weekend, and definitely keep in touch. Awesome. Thank you so much for the opportunity. It was fun talking to you and getting this chance. Not a problem. Thank you, right. Thank you Ray Ray. Not, not a problem. Anytime. <laughs> Actually, I think it's us who should thank you for allowing her to be on with us. I mean, it's a fantastic treat for us to have her on, and we really thank you a lot. Uh, no that's problem. so sweet. Thank that's you. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, uh, all right. Well, well, Logan. Yeah, uh, Logan, Wendy, and everybody. Mm -hmm. Y'all have a wonderful day, and uh, thank you. You too. And soon we'll talk again. Sounds great. Take care. All right. Bye. 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 All right. All right. All right. That was Logan Arsenault. What a fantastic, you know, artist and, you know, what a very talented young lady. Uh, you, you know, I don't really want to say girl because she is 17. So she is a young lady uh, and whatnot. And, uh, you know, if you Google her name, I believe, let me see if I can spell it right. It's Logan A-R-C-E-N-E-A-U-X. 
I believe I spelled it right, uh, or uh, Logan Arsenault. Uh, you know, you can find her on Facebook and all these great things. And uh, be sure to, you know, check out 2 Local Radio. That's the number 2 L-O-C-O Radio for other great interviews and great music uh, in general and sports and everything. You know, something for everybody. And we're all about the local artists and the independent artists, the unsigned artists. And we actually care. We matter because you matter. And if you don't mind, uh, on our site, we do have a, you know, vote for your favorite radio station via, you know, Spreaker Awards. If you could vote for us, that would be great. If you can't, we do understand. All right. You all have a wonderful day and a fantastic weekend. Uh, This is Ray Ray. I'm out. And this is Chrissy D. Have a good weekend, guys.